It's time for another edition of Coach's Corner with women's basketball coach Matilda Mossman. Hello again, everybody, and welcome into Coach's Corner with head coach Matilda Mossman, University of Tulsa women's basketball. And uh, we're getting an early show in here, but it's not too early because you've already played seven games, Coach. You're, you're three and four. Give us a little thumbnail of, of what you think about your team. Well, I'm really pleased with what we've done thus far. We, we've had some bad quarters here and there, but we've also had some really good quarters. And you go uh, all the way back to the Stephen F. Austin game, and uh, we got down 17, 18 points and came charging back and made it a game, uh, just ran out of time. Um, and then it was kind of the reverse against Arkansas State. We got out to a big lead and then they came charging back and we had to hold on and, and for them, they ran out of time. And then, uh, you know, we have the uh, Mayor's Cup with Oral Roberts here and uh, we're able to get that victory and secure the trophy for the second straight year. And that was a big and, comeback, right? Yeah, yeah, we were down in that game and had to come back. So um, we, we've, we've, had, we, we've put some good things together. Uh, I think right now uh, we're just trying to, to strengthen our depth a little bit. We're, we're getting good scoring from, from like Kendra and Elliott, Alexis Galden, Maddie Biddle, uh, Morgan Brady's been in double figures for us. Um, um, we, 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 we've had some... some Rebecca good, Lascai's been yeah, in double Lascai, figures. Yeah, Lascai, she's been in double figures. So um, with those five, and then Addie Richards yeah. has been in double figures a couple of times. So, um, you know, moving her from a guard spot to that four spot has been good for her and us. And it's just a matter of getting some of these younger guys, you know, the, the guys that are replacing the, our guards are freshmen and sophomores. So it's just about you know, trying to strengthen our depth a little bit so that we can play more people and, and more people that can give us quality minutes. Well, Kendra and Elliott had a game for the ages, didn't she, against Arkansas State in that, uh, in that win, and you needed every single point. She had 38, which uh, ties the all-time record. Um, what was she doing so special that day? Well, she's in pretty good company with uh, Jillian Robbins, uh, that's who she tied with. But we just did a great job of give, giving her the ball in rhythm. Uh, she was shooting from three points. She was shooting face up 15 footers. She was scoring with her back to the basket. It just seemed like every time she touched the ball, something good happened. And she went for a really good percentage as well. I think she only missed three shots and, and missed a couple of free throws. But, uh, you know, she's working on some consecutive double-doubles as well. She had a double-double in that game. I think in our seven games, she's had a double-double at least five of those games. So her confidence is really good right now. She's being a great leader for our team and um, really excited for her uh, because of – the way that she kind of transformed herself over the summer and made a commitment to having a great senior year. And, you know, so far she's having it. Yeah, she really came back in shape, didn't she? She really did. She looks the best that she's looked since she got here. All right, the Oklahoma State game, I uh, hate to bring that one up, but that was just such a weird game because you guys dominated. It was a tale of two halves. You're up by 12 late in the first half, and then the second half was totally different, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we go into halftime and we have the lead, and. And I think uh, Coach Littell probably challenged his guards a little bit. Uh, you know, his, his one and two guard are both Oklahoma kids, uh, recruited by us as well. And I think the message was, you've got to go out and prove to these Tulsa kids that you're better than them. And they really cranked it up on the defensive end. They really got aggressive and made it hard for us to catch. And we, we kind of sped up a little bit. And they just made it hard for us to run anything. And so therefore, uh, we don't score many points. I mean, we have uh, our third and fourth quarter were as low scoring as we've had all year long. Yeah, and then you bounce back, though, with the ORU win. As we mentioned, down by 18, you come back and win that game. Rebecca Lasky had 15 points and seven steals as you turn them over a lot in that game. Yeah, Re Rebecca really anticipates weak side passes, and she's able to run through passing lanes and get steals. And, and then she's a, she's a layup maker at the other end, you know, which – uh, that doesn't always happen, but she's one of our toughest kids. She'll she'll play hurt. She'll play uh, when you know she'll keep going hard. And things aren't going her way, but uh, it's really good to have her in our lineup right now, doing what she's doing. Maddie Biddle with 13, Lexi Galden with 12 in your next game, Loyola Marymount, uh, and that one's uh, 
you know, it was a double-digit win for you. It's nice. To, I don't yeah. want to say relax. You never relax as a coach, but it was nice to get a, a win going away against the team. It was, and we didn't. We really didn't didn't um, uh, get out ahead of them until uh, probably late in the third quarter. Right. Uh, but they had the uh, additional travel problem. Uh, you know, they had played a game Saturday night, they traveled here on Sunday, and then were playing at noon on Monday. But that was at their request. They wanted to be able to play and, and get back home that night. So uh, that was a game where we really put four good quarters together, and we had balanced scoring, and um, it was good to see us get a lead and then be able to hold on to the lead. Okay, and, and now we're catching all the way up to the final uh, two games that you've played. Uh, before the taping of the show, and we're talking about the uh, the tournament at St. Mary's in Moraga, California, it was interesting because you didn't play the host team, St. Mary's, but you played your alma mater, Western Kentucky, in the first game. What was that like for you? Well, it, th those I've I'm, you know I've stayed in close contact with people there, and you know Greg Collins, I've known him for a long time, and his one of his assistants, Tiffany Porter, uh, she's she I see her on the road all the time, and. You know, when we see each other on the road, we're always uh, talking about Western Kentucky and the things that that uh, that we experience there, that kind of thing. So um, I, I think going into the game, there was some thoughts about playing my alma mater. But once the game started, you don't think about that anymore. But they're picked in the top three uh, in a in a in the Conference USA, and uh, they're picked up there with Rice and Middle Tennessee. So, and they return almost everybody from last year's team that won 20 games. So we knew we were going to have our hands full. And again, we had a third quarter where things kind of got away from us a little bit, but then you know we were even with them the rest of the quarters. And then we played Marquette in the second game, and really we felt like that was going to be our toughest game. And um, uh, but Mark, but we we hung in there. I mean, Maddie Biddle and Rebecca Lasky probably played their best defensive games of their careers, and they needed to because they got two kids that can really go. And uh, those two guys did a great defensive job. And uh, when well, we had a, we had chances to, to win it and just couldn't put it away at the end. Yeah, sixty-one sixty was the final Marquette winning, and uh, back and forth down the stretch, it kind of. Reminded me a little of the the ORU game and some of your other close games yeah. back and forth with team scoring and you had a young lady who wasn't trying to miss. She missed a couple of free throws that might have that would have given you the lead or at least tied the game. And that's that's tough. What do you say to a to a to a kid, Lexi Galden, who who misses a couple of free throws and, and obviously doing her best to try to make them? I, I, well, I think if you, if you would have asked me before the game, who do you want at the free throw line in that situation? Lex would have been the one I would have chosen. So it's just unfortunate, but she did so many things in that game to really put us in a position to win. Right. And you go back to that Oral Roberts game, talking about lead changes, yeah. there were five lead changes in the last 23 seconds. Right. You know, they hit a layup with about eight seconds to give them the lead, and then we hit a layup with one second to give us the lead, and then we get the free throw. So, um, you know, it, it's been a, a – uh, an interesting season so far. Um, it's been rewarding because I think we're seeing some toughness out of our guys. I think we're getting better every outing. We're learning things along the way. Um, and I think our three seniors, uh, Addie, Ken, and Lex, I think those guys are really want to go out on a high note. And, um, you know, we just need to keep hanging in there with them. And, uh, you know, we, we're playing tough teams, but that's going to make us better going into the conference season. In a moment, we'll be back and we'll conclude things here on Coach's Corner with Matilda Mossman as we take a look at what's happening in the next couple of weeks, at, like, at least the next couple of games this week in TU Women's Basketball. Back in a moment. American. Be undeniable. 
Back on Coach's Corner with head coach Matilda Mossman. Busy week for you. A couple of weeks of going on the road, and it starts this week with at Abilene Christian and at Little Rock coming up on Thursday and Saturday, right? Yeah, we fortunate we had five games at home to start the season, and now we're going into the third game on the road, second road trip. Uh, it just worked out with the Abilene Christian game to be able to schedule it and then go straight to Little Rock from there. So Abilene Christian is, is picked to win the Southland. Uh, Little Rock is picked to win uh, the Sun Belt. So, uh, you know, the road doesn't get any easier, right. but uh, we played both of those guys here at home last year and we're fortunate to win both of those games. And But, you know, they've got a lot of the same guys back. And um, But we feel like we have a lot of the same guys back. So I think it'll be great matchups this week. And then next week at Arkansas and at Stetson, those are two more road games. Don't come home until the game against Colorado State on December 21st. But we urge fans that really enjoyed this early season run for your team to come back on the 21st against Colorado State. That's the next home game right here at the Rental Center, right? Absolutely. It's going to be a busy day. It's graduation. Uh, the men play Colorado State at the BOK Center, I think, at 1.30 in the afternoon, and then we come back that night at 6. So it's, it's a busy day, uh, busy for our facilities people trying to get the, the court turned around from right. graduation ceremony to a basketball game. But, uh, you know, we're excited about being able to play at home right before Christmas. All right, Coach, go get some road wins for us, and we'll talk to you next week. Okay, sounds good. Matilda Mossman, the women's basketball coach at the University of Tulsa on Coach's Corner.